In this video, we're going to take a look at how to have students enroll themselves into a course. Uh, as a teacher, uh, there's a couple things you have to do to set your course up so that students can enroll themselves in it. The first thing you're going to do is scroll down to the settings block, find the users option, and click on the arrow. Then click on enroll enrollment methods. Once you're on this screen, um, what you're going to want to do is um, open up and basically self-enrollment. If we take a look at where it says manual enrollments, notice the I is open in the edit column. For Moodle, an I being open means that that option is available. If it's closed, that means that option isn't. That's kind of a universal thing in Moodle. So in order to allow uh, self-enrollment for students, all I'm going to do is go ahead and click on this I. And that will allow students to find your course and enroll themselves in it. Now, I'm going to show you one more thing about uh, student self-enrollment. Uh, if I click on this edit option right here, this edit icon, I can also add what's called an enrollment key. Now, it's a good idea to add an enrollment key because what this is going to do is prevent students who are not in your course from putting themselves in your course. Um, Probably not a major issue, but probably a good thing to do just as a best practice. Now, to add enrollment key is real simple. You just go to the section where it says enrollment key, type it in there. Okay. Unmask to make sure you have it felt right. Uh, in this case, we're just going to go call it flyers. Scroll down to the bottom and click save changes. Before I do that real quick, though, I want to point out there's a lot of different options you have on this on the screen right here for student enrollment. Uh, we're really just going to a, a best practice, simple approach. Uh, Moodle is also designed to handle large universities, and that's really what a lot of these things you see on here is for. So we're not going to worry about them at this time. Scroll on the bottom and click Save Changes. Okay. Now, at this point, your course is set up to allow students to enroll themselves into it and to need that enrollment key to get into it. Again, if you didn't have the enrollment key, a student who found your course could simply enroll themselves in it if you enabled this option. So I'm going to show you what it looks like from a student perspective now, Clark Kent being the teacher. I'm going to go ahead and click Log Out. Then I'm going to log in as a dummy student. Now I'm logged in as Justin Verlander. This is our student. Once they log in, um, they're going to see basically all the different categories and everything, all the courses that are available in the district. Okay. You as a teacher will want to instruct the student to find your course. Tell them to go to the correct course category. In this case, it's going to be the link. And then to uh, click on the course that you want them to enroll in. In this case, it's going to be sample Moodle course. As a side note, this is a good thing to do with your students early on in the school year um, to do it together because um, then you can have them all right there. If there's any problems, you can troubleshoot it. Just have them log into Moodle as a class, have them find your course, have them enter the enrollment key, and then that's done for the year. Um, at an elementary level, you might want to just add the students yourself, but at the high school, middle school level, you might need to add anywhere between 80 and 100 some students. So it's best to have them enroll themselves. Okay. Now that Justin's clicked on the course, it's going to ask Justin for the enrollment key. In this case, he's just going to enter flyers, which is the enrollment key, and click enroll me. The student will know that they have successfully enrolled themselves in your course when they are allowed access to the course. This particular course doesn't have any content in it, but the student is enrolled in the course because they can see the course and, and have access to the different uh, resources in it. And this has been how to have a student enroll themselves in the course.